Hi guys, sorry I haven't made many videos. I've been super busy with lots of things going on. I already started making brooms and different kinds for next year's Renaissance Festival since it went so well. Um, dog training. I'm slower usually in the colder months, but I'm going to be doing group training, uh, which by myself will be new. Um, I think it will be easy, just tedious for me, you know, going through the basics with, you know, over and over and over. But um, I am saving up money for a number of things, uh, some things I need and some things I want. Like, I want to have enough money to have a more comfortable time at the Renaissance Festival because it was like a camping type situation. So, um, anyway, the painting, as you can see, is still was on hold for a while, but I can pick that back up this weekend. And um, if anybody knows how to, as you can see, the wall behind me is gabled, and I have posters in frames. If anybody has any idea how to mount like big posters for bands, you know, music, on the gabled part, because my art desk is taking up the flat part that they used to reside. <laughs> I would appreciate it. Um, anyway, my topic for this video is specific. It's not just a ramble. I have noticed that on, and I don't, I'm not quite sure how I ended up in this algorithm, if it's like pervasive throughout these um, social media sites, or if I clicked on something too many times and it popped up for me now all the time. But I read an article about it, and so I know it's a, it's not just me, it's a thing that's happening. And so what I am seeing on um, Instagram, which I really am not a big user of, I, I like to look at the, some things on there, but I don't use it as... A social media type thing I don't have any f friends or family I don't post anything I look at pretty pictures and things <laughs> um, and I, I've noticed the same thing on TikTok, uh, which I do enjoy I have some videos I made a long time ago for TikTok on the on my site rela re mostly related to bipolar disorder and this is in that kind of is going to be part of what I'm talking about um but lately I have noticed um a really big trend in um people showing videos um, about their disability, but more about their ability, even though they have a disability. And um, and so, you know, and so they can show things like, their how they cope in a wheelchair or with crutches or colostomies and 
feeding tubes. And I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that at all. It isn't. Um, nothing wrong with that. Um, you know, but there are just like these videos of people cleaning, you know, watch me clean my peg tube. Watch me change the tape on my NJ tube, you know, and, um, and issues they encounter if they're in a wheelchair and, um, the emergency cord in the bathroom is tied up so that if a disabled person fell, they couldn't reach it. Um, showing everybody their special gear, um, like actual, like I've seen a wheelchair that goes up and down and can even lay down, um, but also stuff to just make it fun, make your wheelchair fun. Um, and they talk a lot about ableism, which is um, I guess the same as like racism, have, having an issue with you know, harassing people who are disabled and um, you know, especially if they're younger, you know, why do you have a walker? You're too young. You know what? You don't need to be in a wheelchair. You, you're healthy. You look fine. You know, and, and I can imagine that that is uh, frustrating and... Um, I, I don't know, but here I come. I am as disabled as these people that are doing these videos. Um, I need and require equipment, processes, um, things to function in the world, but mine, except for my service dog, which I'll tell you about in a minute, I had my first encounter where someone Apparently didn't believe I needed a service dog. Um, but I don't have a wheelchair to show you. I don't have crutches or a cane. Um, I walk pretty fine like everybody else. I move except for most people don't notice it. I'll put it that way. But um, I do have mild tardive dyskinesia. And I have essential tremor. But the essential tremor has improved quite a bit. Um, but my point is, I was thinking, if I... How would I make, uh, you know, I make my videos, I made my videos on TikTok. Nobody seemed interested in how someone with bipolar disorder fills their medication uh, container. Um, I thought they were clever, but no one seemed interested in that. And I'm wondering if I hopped in a wheelchair if I would get more hits. For the most part, you can't see. You, you have to really be around me for a while to notice that something is wrong. Um, that you, do you, you get, do you get what I'm saying? I'm not 
dissing anyone with the more physical issues. I'm just saying, I'm just asking, how would I make a video to, to really get people to understand, you know, here's my disability. I can tell you about it, but these are videos, they're visual. How do you visually show bipolar disorder, social anxiety disorder? Um, I mean, I don't, my first idea was, I mean, when we are somewhere in the middle, like hypomanic, we can actually get a lot of stuff done and it can be really amazing. It's like a part of the brain is being tapped that other people don't get to experience. But the risk is for a lot of us that after hypomania comes mania. And that is nothing but chaos and delusion. And we think it's totally awesome and we're but we're but but it's not. We're just think, you know, anyway. I had I, I get a lot of broom making work done during hypomanic episodes, so I can feel it, and then next thing I know I'm immersed and have made a whole bunch of brooms, um, because it takes creativity. So, um, so I have this picture, um, of my workspace after the completion of a broom. And it is complete mess. I mean, it is just stuffs everywhere. And um, I'm like, do I just show this and say, can you guess what my disability is just by showing this image? How do I visually, you know, um, a lot of them are, get my feeding tube and feed bottle ready with me. And that's all the video is. How do I do that with my disability and so I really do think that we are under um, represented in the social um, sites uh, I've seen people maybe quickly brush on, I have PTSD, but they always more loudly and more visibly uh, focus on their physical disability, you know? So... I just feel like there is a whole big giant chunk of people that the world doesn't even realize exists and they're disabled. I didn't get disability, social security disability for any reason, I got it on the first try, which is 
extremely unusual, but I was that sick. Um, and so, um, I forgot what I was going to say. Um, I just don't know how to... I just... I, I guess there's... Oh, okay. I remember. But there's still that stigma. It's, it's still there. Um... And people think that, I think there are more people that think having a psychiatric disorder does not warrant disability status. It's not as, like it's not as profound. Life is not as life altering as if my legs weren't working and I was in a wheelchair because I have had periods where I could not function. I mean, my brain was dead. It was nothing. It was staring into the wall blank for several, for I don't know how long, um, completely blank, not moving, um, incapable of doing paperwork for myself. There was a time when I couldn't go anywhere by myself. I barely could leave the house. Um, I, I just would like to see that physical and psychiatric conditions be on the same, be considered and accepted as being equally disabling. Everybody has their, just like with physical disabilities, everybody has a different, you know, in psychiatric disabilities, everybody has their own unique situation. Um, and I mean, that's why they custom make wheelchairs to custom make not just the fit of the person, but what they need out of the wheelchair. And um, we often need to adjust our life and our lifestyle and caregivers' lifestyles change, you know. So um, But I mean, how do you how do you express that? in social media. Obviously, I'm talking about it right now. Okay, but here goes my story, and this is an example. And even though my body is walking and moving, it is an example of ableism. I was at Walmart with my service dog. <laughs> Everybody needs a service dog at Walmart. Anyway, he is task trained. He's been through training. Um, the works. He's task trained. Wearing his vest. Going about the business. Our business. He even has a badge that says not all disabilities are visible. And... Um, And he, he has also extra training that isn't required for a service dog. So he's, he's well trained. 
And so we're walking through Walmart, and this older woman, which is, I think, probably old time's sake, um, um, you know, views on how, about things from, from, compared from years ago to now. Okay, so she's like, stopped. I think she was cleaning her eyeglasses. And we walked by and she said, almost under her breath, but just enough for me to hear. I don't think those are allowed in here. And I said, he's a service dog. And she said, he's a what? I said, he's a service dog. And she said, oh, really? Exactly like that? And looked at him and me and looked us up and down, up and down like three times with this, oh, really? like you look fine to me what do you mean service dog and I said and then my voice raised and I said yes he is a task trained service dog for my disability and and she's still I don't know about that and we kept moving. Most younger people, especially if they have kids, usually I hear them saying, no, you can't pet the doggy. He's working. He's a service dog, you know, which I totally appreciate. It's the older folks that, like, try to call him over. And, oh, he's so cute. What's his name? And bend over and pet him. And... And, like, there's this big old fat badge on his back that says, do not pet. You know, ignore me. <laughs> I'm invisible. Uh, so, um, that was the first time I ever really encountered, um, to my face. Uh, just the look the way she looked me up and down and Finnegan he's he's a 25 pound dog uh, Shih Tzu mix and so he's not a big dog he's not a shepherd he's not a seeing eye dog he's not a mobility dog um and here he comes. He's about to. Is that him? He. <laughs> his task is to basically boss me around all day. To make sure I take my medication when the alarm goes off. Make sure I go to bed when the alarm goes off. Make sure I get out of bed when the alarm goes off. Oh no, this is the other one. This is coming in as shamey. He's almost 16. He can't hear a thing. But anyway, he does also um, Finnegan if I'm upset like crying or if I'm irritable and I'm stomping and slamming. He'll, his alert is to bark, which is allowable. It used to be to paw. But he had surgery on his knees. And to save his knees, um, we switched it to barking. And um, it, it, that is acceptable. I am getting him a badge that says, you know, I bark as an alert. And he's he doesn't really bark when we're in public. He does a ruh, ruh. And I pay attention to it um but I think if I were to not respond he might full out bark but that's his job his job is to be 
bossy and I cannot fool him. I cannot get up and then go back to bed. He'll wait on the stairs for about 10 minutes and then come back. Um, what else does he do? Um, I'm training him to pick things up for me because of my tardive dyskinesia and my essential tremor. I drop things all the time and would just be convenient for someone else to pick it up. Um, he does, my brain, I'm sorry, I'm having a brain, um, therapy, pressure, deep, deep pressure therapy, so if I'm upset, um, and he alerts, I sit down, he lays it on my legs, if I'm laying all the way down, he'll lay on my body to, oh, here he comes, to um, help pressure, helps you calm down. Um, and he also is a barrier between me and other people when we're out in public. Um, he'll stand in front of me and he seems to instinctively know who's okay and who's not so um he does other things i just can't my brain's starting to fade uh oh he has a new one when we're in the store or wherever um he likes it when my mom is with us and he falls in line right behind her and I am with him and some people might think that he sniffs every female that goes by their pant leg and some people might see that as oh your service dog's distracted he's looking for my mother and um in the store, if I say, find mom, go find mom, he'll pick up pace, look up and down aisles, and I just go for the ride, and he finds her. He can also um, find the car, which is nice in the parking lot, especially if it's a big one. Um, so, uh, he's just extremely intelligent, and he teaches himself tasks. If I spend too much time upstairs isolating, he comes, barks, <laughs> will not stop barking until I come back downstairs. So we have had to rearrange things so that I can still continue to work on things downstairs. Um, but that's his task. Like I, I can't take it away because there have been times when I'm in a depressive episode and I can barely move. You have him barking at you until you get up and move. You can't ignore it. Trust me. <laughs> and I get up and go downstairs where there's people. So... Um, one funny thing is when I try to do yoga, sometimes he alerts because I'm laying down on the ground and I, I, it, it's not a position I usually am in. So sometimes that's kind of funny. Anyway, I show some of those in my videos on, um, TikTok. But, uh, but my point is that I really, this trend of showing you my medical equipment and how they have different fancy tapes for their G-tube, um, NJ-tube, their feed pump, flushing the pump, and all of this 
And I'm wondering, I'm disabled too. How do I show that in a video? I can tell you about it, but how do I show you? I don't have anything to clean or flush or spin in circles um, or talk about ableism. So if you have any ideas, let me know. Um, I managed to end up with three posters of the same, it's the same poster, like other people, like at a yard sale or someone gave me one and I already had it and I'm like, I felt bad because <laughs> I'm like, Oh, thank you. This is the third one I have. Okay. It's this poster. So if you're into Harry Potter. Upside down. Sorry. black and white poster of Hogwarts. If you mention in the comments or something, um, I can, uh, I have three. So I have two that I'm giving away. One is still in the plastic and one is not. Um, so I don't know if you can send a direct message or not. Um, you can just mention it in the comments maybe. And, and then we can make arrangements for me to send it to you. So it would be the first two people that I exchange information with. Because I don't know what else to do with them. <laughs> um, so I'm going to leave it with that. Um, let's see. Yeah, that's it. If you have any ideas on how a person with psychiatric disabilities can show their disability, can show people the process of their disability. Um, I mean, I've already done a TikTok on my medication and that, and I can just see that people won't be as interested do you know what I'm saying? Um, so maybe YouTube is the only medium for, for us. I just would like to know what you think. And so he started barking. It is time for me to get off of here and start our nighttime routine. So I will talk to you later.